BlackRock and Vanguard are two of the biggest companies in the world, managing close to... Hello guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to track multiple text, 3D text on a city, just like the one you, we can see here, using Google Let Studio and After Effects. So I saw this video on, uh, on TikTok and I liked it and I decided to make a tutorial on it. So, and before we start, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel to get updates on my weekly videos and because my channel my channel isn't monetized yet if you want to support me you can buy me coffee or support me on patreon so i'll be putting the link down in the description below if you want to do that thank you so the first thing we need to do is go to google ad studio and there are several ways we can we can do this so if you don't have an account yet you can go to once you click on the link you go to try Edge Studio and you need to fill out this form here and submit. Usually you don't get access immediately. This might take a day or two. I don't know how, how long it will take now, but you won't get access immediately. So you, they will send you a mail telling you have access now to try and almost everyone usually get access. So you can start with some of the templates they are giving to us by clicking on this drop down here and going to quick start. You can choose from any one of these five templates here from the zoom to your location orbit point to point spiral and fly to orbit so once any template you want you just click on it go to start then pick a location where you want your map to go to and click here and you see that you have an orbit around the object you just pick but for this tutorial we're using a more simple animation don't be an orbit so for that let's go to a new project i will name this new york and you can pick from tree from earth moon or mars whichever pl uh, planet or satellite you want to use so we'll leave it at earth 920 by 1080 is okay and i will change this to time code because i don't want to see it in frames and let's make this 10 seconds then 30 fps is okay and click start and once you enter you might only get one view from the camera to get two views like this where you have a flat view from the top and your camera go to view and go to not map style view multiple multiple views and click on two viewports or you can also do that from here choose either one or two so the from the video we saw the map look the map location or the city location was in new york manhattan so that's where we use so i've already typed that already so you just type manhattan and you get projected yeah so to move this map is really easy you left click to move your map front back or to the side then you use right click to zoom in or out so you use your middle mouse button to rotate it and to tilt your map like this. So that's how you can control the movement and look it to where you want it to be. So I'm just going to quickly fix this to where I want it. Okay. So to animate this, what do we do? You click on at the beginning of your timeline here, you click on this keyframe, just like After Effects or any other editing software. Then you move to the time code where you want your animation to end. And I will just do a simple rotation. And I'll just rotate it a bit like this. And also hit on hit the keyframe again to set the screen frames then once you go back you'll see this nice rotation not too much so that's it so the next thing we need to do we don't need to worry about this since we are not doing any any complex doing any complex animation so we need to set a camera target and also set it, set it as a track point because we'll be using those track points later in the tutorial 
so i'm just going to click a spot here somewhere here and set it as a camera point then also click there again and set our track point in the same location then make that location set it as local origin okay. so you can rename this double click it and rename it so i just rename it to new york and that's it then to render this out go to render we'll leave this as image sequence we'll pick somewhere in our folder where we want to save it i'll save this because i'll create another new folder and say new york 2 and select this folder new york 2 then leave the rest of the settings as it is then you need to set this as after effects js dot gxx file that's how we'll be importing it into after effects then make sure this thing is set as local so that it will to set as our track point then leave the rest of the settings as it is then click start click save so depending on the speed of your computer the the spec this might take a while so i'll come back when it's done once your animation is done rendering to bring this into after effects all we need to do is go to file won't import like we will do for other listen what you need to do is go to script and click on run script then locate where the file is saved and click on this file extension here jxx just double click it to import it and like that we'll have this our animation will be imported in these four layers so we have our camera we have our image sequence which is the map itself all of the map frames rendered out in image format and a null layer and the text so the text is pretty big so this null layer here it's our tracking point that we added so if you wanted multiple text there are two ways to do the to do that but i'll get i'll get into that later so for the text we just bring up our scale property and let's scale this down to let's say 400 and we have something already then go down to your transform property and use the x because it's 3d use your x rotation to bring it up like this and use the y rotation to move it side to side then if you wanted to move this to the back a bit you use the position the z space and position to move it so it feels like it's going back i hope it's going back though so you can use some of these settings to play around and to get what you want and if you wanted to add another text here the simple way to do it is to duplicate this text here and rename it to let me just rename this one to united states but the best way to do it is to once you're making your map add a second track point to it and for each point you for each track point you add you get and two no layers and two text for each track point but this is also simple you can just duplicate this and since it's printed to the no layer you can still use it so i'll just change the the color of the second image we did and move it around to a different location this is it so you can play around with the settings to get what you want create your own animation based on the settings you want and that's it and that's how easy it is to create a 3d text tracking on your animation video on your map animation video thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe